Welcome back you guys. Today I wanted to come in with five tips for highway riding. So my first one here is going to be uh, pretty simple right because obviously if you can't do this uh, you're probably not going to be riding on the highway at all. So tip number one is going to be get comfortable with moving faster speeds. Now, when you first started riding, it may surprise you that uh, riding on a motorcycle feels a lot faster than you were expecting. So doing simple speeds like 40 to 60 miles an hour may be kind of like a worrisome at the very least if you've never really spent time behind the wheels of anything. So for my first tip, would definitely have to be get comfortable with moving faster speeds you could do this also by jumping on a exit preferably something that you have uh, done in the car plenty of times so you know exactly where you're at and get on get moving up to highway speed and then get off at the closest exit that's going to help you uh, kind of get used to what the highway is going to be like and you can just kind of work it up, go one exit to two exits to three exits, try maybe going somewhere, you know. Uh, the more you do it, the better it gets. At first, I know when I got on the highway, I was kind of like intimidated a little bit by all the bigger vehicles on the road. But after riding for a little bit, you'll realize it, it's not as bad as you thought it was. And for tip number two, it's going to be when you're on the highway riding pay attention for obstacles so uh, a good example of this is is just anything that's in the road uh, you'll find that sometimes there's blown out tires in the road there's nails rocks that are pretty big and sizable sticks I mean honestly you just really never know what exactly is gonna be in the road so Paying attention to what may be there is something that honestly you really need to watch out for because at the faster speeds, you know, uh, it, it could really fuck you up. Let's be honest. If you hit like, I don't know, would say something stupid like a fucking turtle, you know, if a big ass turtle's crossing the road and you hit that bitch moving fucking 60, dude, it could make you wipe out. So. Paying attention for obstacles is going to be one I definitely have to throw in there. Tip number three. Switch up your lane positioning to get better views on the cars ahead of you. Um, honestly, this is a big one too. And this is almost falls into the same category as watching for obstacles. So right now you can see that I'm riding it in the middle. You could alternatively take the right side of your lane or you could take the left side of your lane whenever you're on the highway this can help you see multiple cars up ahead of you uh, you can see maybe if there's a person who's just driving really slow maybe uh, you start seeing cars move and you want to get a better view on what's going on so you jump over for a second and you can see oh wow you know, there's somebody on the side of the road or something, you know. Uh, just being able to see farther up ahead of you offers you so much more than just spinning in one spot hoping that nothing bad happens. And then tip number four, make progress whenever you're uh, driving through traffic. Now, you don't want to be just moving uh, a solid just one consistent speed and this is why I say get comfortable with moving faster speeds you want to be making what they call progress which is you just you don't want to be flying by cars all right but you do want to be kind of just dragging on by them you don't want to be just sitting in a blind spot of a car or heaven forbid they just forget that you're back there beside them I mean so many people play on their phones when they're driving it's kind of ridiculous you guys so 
to just sit in one spot beside a big old two-ton vehicle is just kind of not good i would say you want to just go ahead and go past them you don't need to be moving like horribly fast past them just mosey on by them and keep on with the pace that way they know where you're at you know what's going on and it also puts you in the position of power when you're on the road you know you can choose to go around this person or not. and for tip number five and this one's a pretty important one too you guys don't tailgate people and I know this one right here might be a little bit hard if you're trying to properly make progress and get on through traffic but you do need to keep in mind that if you're falling behind a car super close and for some dumb reason they need to get on their brakes if they just jam on their brakes and lock their shit up or they just drastically come to a stop really fast it may really <laughs> you know bite you in the butt you may not be able to stop fast enough if you're really close to that car in front of you so it could turn a nice ride into a really fucked up situation really fast if you can't give your car in front of you a good enough space where you know that you could properly brake if needed to or at least think of a way that you can have out of the situation if something was to go awry because in all honesty you really don't want to find yourself in the situation of having either you lock your brakes up or they lock their brakes up and you can't stop in time uh, I've seen it quite often actually where somebody somebody I don't know right on the side of the road has rear-ended a car and <laughs> I sometimes I kind of like well how the heck do you do that but then again if you're sitting there riding up the ass of some car and then they have to brake really fast uh, you know what it's really easy to do so number five just don't tailgate you guys it's, it's easier said than done but don't do it. it it's a bad habit and can get you hurt well you guys thanks for coming in for another video i hope you all appreciate all these tips i hope you apply them and they work good peace out you guys